Hello everybody, my name is Brad Mason, Pioneer Field Agronomist for Western Illinois. We're reaching the end of April and very little corn planting has been done across the area. And so there's been a lot of questions as to how do I manage this corn crop going into the spring and then eventually into harvest because we did not have an ideal fall. And so I want to talk to you about a few things that are on the top of my mind when we start to discuss what we should be doing. A lot of us are on plan B, C, D, uh, maybe even E and F because we have had such a poor year for field work. In the fall, we didn't really get a great chance to put on anhydrous. We didn't get a great chance for any of the tillage work that's typically done around here. So we need to make sure that we're paying attention as the spring continues on, that we're doing the right thing with tillage. As we've done tillage previously in the fall, one of the things to think about is that we have a lot of freeze and thaws through the winter that eliminate a lot of the sins that we could create in the fall by creating some compaction layers and things like that. The spring, we're not gonna have that luxury of that freeze thaw cycle to break up some of our issues uh, that we may be creating. So with that being said, and the next week's forecast having a lot of heavy rain, I would just precaution everybody to make sure we're doing the right things, checking fields, uh, checking multiple areas in the field to make sure moisture's at the right level when we're starting to do some of this tillage work. The other thing to think about is crop rotation. There's, there's a lot of people that are moving on to plan B when it came to crop rotation because of lack of nitrogen management, uh, lack of tillage to get the residue there. And then of course the last one is nitrogen management. Uh, I probably won't address that in this video. I'll, I'll have another one here in the next week or so as we start to discuss nitrogen management more in depth. One thing that I continue to get asked on though as we are almost to May 1st here is should I be thinking about planting an earlier season maturity for my corn hybrids? The easy answer is no. The reason that is, is because we've heard over the years of how, how adaptable soybeans are when it comes to planting times and planting dates, things like that. Corn is just as adaptable. And I wanna say that because there's been some research done where they actually showed that corn planted at the end of April versus corn planted at the end of middle and end of June uh, that corn planted in June needed 240 less growing degree units to get to maturity, meaning it can shorten up that window to make sure we have that opportunity uh, for yield. The other thing is, uh, based on Pioneer's research, you can see that as long as you plant those 110 to 115 day maturity products before that May 31st timeframe, your potential for payback on that is still greater than switching to an earlier maturity. So that being said, I do tell you all to stick with the plan. Hopefully we'll catch a break here in the next week or so. And I hope everybody has a safe planting season. And I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.